The black church operates like big pharma. They need a certain amount of people to stay sick so they can continue to make money. Now that black women are removing their membership from the church, they're also not bringing their children to the church, which is going to be the church's new tithers. It is way easier to indoctrinate a child than it is an adult. And by rituals like christenings, baptisms, dedicating your entire life to the Lord at 10 years old, you are now indoctrinating children to worship the church and give money to the church. And within that community, you are telling little kids to blindly follow authority, to be submissive and obedient, and to stay pure and innocent. The church is a perfect hunting ground for predators. And whether we like to admit it or not, the church hides predators and protects predators because predators and the church have a mutual understanding. The predator gets some type of authority in the church and also gets an endless supply of victims. And the church now gets an endless supply of sick people that they can convince that they need to do better because of what happened to them. And now that black women are finding community outside of the watchful eye of churchmen, that is messing with the church's current money and the church's future money by way of your church. It is foolishness and not a sign of faithfulness to teach your children to suspend disbelief. It is foolishness and not a sign of faith to teach your children to suspend their God-given ability to think critically, to exert discernment. The fact that the cult of current Christianity teaches that is a sign that it has been polluted. It's been imperialized. It's been colonized and it's been further incultated into the cult of self. People do not understand how hijacked that religion is. People refuse to see what colonizers and imperializers did to it in an effort to create an obedient sheep. They indoctrinate children from a very young age to accept the authority of the church without question. They attach the authority of the Christian system, because it's, it's a system, it's a religious system built up around disseminating the knowledge of Yeshua and Yahweh. And that system has for centuries created a series of victims who do not question its authority over them and why the church and religious system that is Christianity should have authority over them. This creates the perfect victim. It's why people and abusers with sense of this flock to the church. It's the same thing uh, that goes on in white supremacy it creates the perfect victim. People are so interested in the cookie. Like white supremacy will get me an easier life. If I just enforced white supremacy uh, and I believe in it and I keep it going, I in the end will benefit it. Whether you're a model minority or you're a demelinated person suffering from a degenerative condition uh, that comes from not having melanation. And lacking it. <sighs> and so it's the same with white supremacy as it is with Christianity. People want the cookie. They want the reward. So they're willing to keep a toxic religious system going. In the same way capitalism. In the same way people treat capitalism. Christianity. Just a few things that should be mentioned here. They do the same thing um, with their religious beliefs. And they keep Christianity going because they don't, they're so afraid that they will lose out on the cookie that they're not brave enough to do the thing that is actually required of them as a Christian, which is to inventory their present set of beliefs to deconstruct them to think critically about them to gain discernment and understanding as they edify their character and that they constantly go through this process of inventorying sifting deconstructing thinking critically that as they age they arrive at a superior moral position than they had when they were a child. Instead, the cult of Christianity creates eternal children, eternal victims, and eternal sheep. 
We do what they are told. Because imperial people who imperialized Christianity, colonized Christianity, enslaved it for the purpose of empire, utilize that kind of indoctrination and brainwashing to keep them under their control. It's not a faith. It's a sign of foolishness to blindly follow those in authority. It's time to wake up and it's time to grow up.